Hey everybody, how's it going? In today's video, let's take a look at a bonus series, East-West Throwdown, featured in Master section of Road Collection. Now this one, uh, you can unlock it by uh, winning 16 trophies in the main career series that's right above the GT3 World Series, um, or by owning, of course, one of the featured cars in the series where we got four. So this is called East-West Throwdown because we got two uh, from Germany, uh, namely Porsche, and the other two from Japan, uh, from Nissan. So uh, yeah, let's hop in and see what we can find. East-West Throwdown, some of the highest performance 600 cars in existence fight for dominance in this series. And of course, 918 uh, RSR concept, probably uh, in the early game, one of the best. You know, certainly one of the most fun cars to race in the game. And the specs not too bad either. And of course, we got the, the other Porsche on the right corner of the screen the 911 gt3 cup uh very affordable cars by the way uh except for the 918 uh all the other three cars featured here are all racing dollar cars and you can almost fully max out using um really very small amount of gold because these cars were all uh part of the original release of the game way back like i guess now 10 years ago as the Fire Monkeys just had a 10 year anniversary on this game. So yeah, um, series itself, not terribly long, um, which is the way the bonus series used to be. So this one just has 18 tiers and uh, four of those are uh, time trial tiers. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty short bonus series. Uh, just 32 trophy events and 4 time trials because not all uh, of these tiers are going to have uh, like 3 events per tier also. And rewards wise, yeah, it's not the highest paying series either, but hey, at least it's not that expensive to get there, right? So... Uh, there are a total of 56 gold, as you can see here, uh, first 25% um, completion gets you 6 gold, um, and uh, let's see, what does the next 50% give you then? I guess we'll have to look and find out. Um, well, uh, the information on the wiki page might be off then. I guess we'll have to uh, do some racing to find out exactly how much things uh, pays out. But anyway, the first 25% completion, uh, you should be able to claim that in tier 5. So that does not really require any PR requirement, actually. I know, that's weird, isn't it? And then uh, it pays... Uh, as I said, six gold and six thousand racing dollars, and fifty percent completion. You should be able to claim it in, I think, tier nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, and that requires PR fifty-one, and that should be paying around like eleven gold, uh, eleven gold and eleven thousand racing dollars. And then 75% completion, I believe you claim it in, let's see, uh, tier 14. So 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, yeah. And that one will pay out 15 gold and 15,000 racing dollars. Uh, PR 60 is required. And then the 100% completion pays out the remaining 24 gold and 24,000 racing dollars. Assuming the total number, reward number is... Uh, still hold true of being uh, 56 gold and 56 thousand racing dollars anyway pr requirement for 100 completion is 66 
and out of the four cars featured in this series um, the essentially two higher tier uh, cars from each team as it were can complete that so that includes uh, Porsche 918 RSR concept and the other one is the one that I don't currently own that is currently on discount offer 15% uh, off both the purchase of the car and the what do you call that thing um, upgrades right so 15% uh, is not as actually good as the uh, showcase discount so I have a feeling once I go through the series before this offer expires I will get the 20% discount on the car itself I know it's just racing dollars so not a huge deal but uh, what I'm interested in is saving a couple of gold yes we're talking literally like just a handful of gold that we get to save by taking advantage of that 15% discount offer uh, and of course uh, the other Porsche has 911 GT3 Cup very nice car by the way considering the cost especially and uh, one of the top cars in the game earlier part of the game that takes you pretty far into the mid game is this Nissan GTR Premium R35 incredible acceleration uh, they, yeah no other car quite come anywhere near this in the same league um, so anyway so those are the the four cars featured in this series and uh, here uh, since this video is about the series itself let's take a look I think I can unlock all of them yeah so tier one we got three cup a uh, three cup three lap cup uh, Silverstone the international circuit no PR requirement and followed by elimination at the brickyard speedway section and uh, another cup once again without any PR requirement because it's tier one gonna be uh, Suzuka West uh, another three lap but um, Suzuka West versus Silverstone International I say uh, Suzuka uh, yeah they gotta be the fairly comparable length aren't they all right let's take a look at tier two we got head-to-head -head at uh, Maz uh, used to be Mazda Raceway now WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca it's a two-lap cup uh, not cup two lap head to head which we don't get much these days uh, followed by drag race at Brickyard Road Course and another short event speed snap at the Brickyard Road Course so that's in the US yes US Expo and that gets us to the first showcase tier featuring the car that, that I do not own and yes we will be given a chance to uh, get it for with a showcase discount 20% off so that's kind of cool and uh, yeah it's not 15% it's gonna be 20% that we get off but anyway and this is the single event uh, for the showcase it's just gonna be a quick head-to-head -head of a two laps at Hockenheim short and of course the accompanying time trial this one as Suzuka West let's head on over to next tier where you get to claim the first 25% uh, completion by winning one event only that's why you don't necessarily have to um, uh, meet any PR requirement because you can just do the elimination at spa uh, but anyway uh, to get past you're gonna need to complete those other events around it we got the cup at brand hatch in the circuit PR 48 required for this one and it's gonna be a four lap cup and on the other side we got Cup at Hockenheim Grand Prix PR 49 required for that three lap cup there 
All right, and then next we go head on down to uh, Southern Hemisphere, Australia. We got head to head at uh, Mount Panorama, two lap head to head. Yeah, we used to get a lot of like multiple lap head to heads. We don't really get that at all nowadays, do we? We got elimination at Melbourne. And uh, another event is one cup at Mount Panorama. PR 51 is required for the three lap cup at Bathurst Circuit. And that takes us to the next um, showcase tier featuring Nissan GTR Premium. So this one's got, on the, once again, just a single event for the showcase uh, quick cup. Two lap cup at Laguna Seca. And this takes us to the tier 8, the accompanying time trial. This one for Nissan GTR Premium, taking place at Dubai National. And on to tier 9, the 50% completion tier, as you can see two races only and neither one requires PR requirements so that's why the 50% completion PR is actually 51 from like tier 6 anyway uh, we got speed record at Hockenheim short circuit and endurance at Hockenheim national and uh, let's see yeah moving on to tier 10 back to three event tier uh, we got cup at Mount Panorama again PR 54 this time and it's gonna be a three lap cup elimination at Silverstone National Circuit followed by the uh, another cup at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course PR 56 is required for this one uh, another three lap cup and that takes us to the third showcase tier. This one featuring uh, Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. And for the showcase, we got head to head at Spa. And it's this one's going to be a single lap, but of course, Spa being a bit lengthier circuit, perhaps justified. All right, and accompanying time trial for Porsche 911 GT3 Cup at Mount Panorama. And that takes us to tier 13. All right, we got a drag race at the Brickyard Road Course, followed by Endurance at Laguna Seca, and the speed record to wrap up the tier. Uh, this one at Indianapolis motor speedway again but this time a uh, speedway section so that's always a uh, I feel like every car needs a uh, either Indianapolis motor speedway speed record at speedway or some sort of a like oval circuit speed record I feel like it's a nice one to have for just about every car so you can kind of test them out like Daytona would be good um, Daytona would be actually better because you can, you know, those banked corners, you can really, uh, depending on the grip of the car, you can pretty much go flat out on many uh, proper race cars, not so much road cars. <laughs> but anyway, that takes us to tier 14, where we got three cup events uh, with a different PR requirement. So you just need a single uh, cup. Uh, gold trophy here to claim that 75% completion reward so obviously you can do the low PR1 PR60 the first one taking place at spa uh, three lap cup and that'll get you the 75% completion uh, but uh, you would we I mean you would want to continue on because it doesn't really cost that much to get your cars PR beyond 61 or 60 years so uh, next cup in this tier, tier 14, we got Hokanine Grand Prix, PR61 required for th this three lap cup. And we're heading over to Japan for the 
uh, third cup in the tier at Suzuka Grand Prix. Another PR61. This one is a four lap cup. And that gets us to the final showcase tier featuring the sort of the king of the hill here Porsche 918 RSR concept. And this one. The featured event is the Cup S Suzuka West, just two quick laps. And of course, uh, showcase tiers don't have any uh, PR requirements, so not an exception here. And the accompanying time trial for Porsche 918 RSR concept is going to be at Silverstone International Circuit. on to the penultimate tier tier 17 and uh, we got just two short races here first one speed snap at mount panorama and second one drag race yeah suzuka grand prix and that takes us to the final tier tier 20 where we got three cup events two with a pr65 and the final one with a pr66 required so first cup at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Speedway Cup, and it's going to be a quick three-lapper. And the next, we got cup at Melbourne, another PR65 event with PR uh, uh, five-lap cup. And then final cup, PR66 required at Mount Panorama, and this is going to be four-lap cup. So, and that 100% will get you the remaining uh, some 24 gold, I believe, and 24,000 racing dollars. We'll have to run through the series to actually confirm that because the numbers are different from their um, the wiki page information. But anyway, so that will do it for this overview of this bonus series. And in the video coming up next, I'll see if I can make some progress through this uh, old, very old series. So stay tuned. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.